Hello and welcome to a brand new OET writing lesson. This time it's all about writing a referral letter to a social worker. And a big thank you to Paul, one of our YouTube students who got in touch asking me to create a video to help you write this kind of letter. And it's a great idea. So here we go with what we're going to cover in our lesson. First of all, I think it's really important that you understand what a social worker does. So we'll go over that briefly. We'll then take a look at a set of case notes and pick out what content you will need to include in your letter to a social worker for your OET. This is going to be useful for everyone, but we're going to focus in on case notes for nursing. Welcome back for those of you who are joining me again and hello to those of you who are joining for the first time. My name's Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET. It's so lovely to have you all here. Thank you very much for joining. If you are new and you haven't subscribed, please do so because then you'll get updates with when I publish a new video and if you like this please press the like button and send it to a friend or a colleague. Okay first of all then what does a social worker actually do? I'm going to be focusing in on the UK because that's where I'm based and that's the information I know about and just so that we're really precise and really clear with what we're doing I'm going to be using a website called Health Careers NHS. I'll put the URL in the comments box below so you can go away and check it out as well. But let me just summarise for you. Social workers work with people to find solutions to their problems. So that's their job title, that's what they do. They help protect vulnerable people across society from harm or abuse, and they support people to live independently. So there's a lot of support and protection work going on with social workers. They work with a wide range of people, the elderly, children with disabilities, teenage with mental health problems, young offenders, so those are young people under 18 who have been in trouble with the law, adults with disabilities, drug, alcohol abuse, victims, refugees, asylum seekers, families at risk of breaking down or children who live apart from their families for whatever reason foster carers and adopters. So a foster carer is someone who's looking after children temporarily. Adopters, they've become their legal guardian. Children who are at risk, whether that's from abuse or neglect. And carers, people who look after other people, including young carers who might be looking after their parents or their siblings. So there is a wide range of people that they work with. Their job includes visiting clients, so social workers, patients that they deal with aren't actually called patients, they're called clients, and they might visit them in their home, in a care home, a hospital, a hostel, if they're in temporary accommodation, or even in prison. A social worker would assess their needs, organise support, make referrals to other agencies or services if necessary, of course, they would need to keep detailed records and attend meetings. So there's a lot of support, there's a lot of liaising, and there's a lot of record keeping. Okay, let's look at a case note and letter then. We're going to be actually using sample three from the OET website, which is for nurses, and I've just adapted it slightly. This is something you can do as well. So once you've finished looking at the samples, just adjust them slightly. How would your letter change if you were writing to a different recipient? It's a really great exercise that you can do yourself. So here is the original. As you can see, they give you the date. You're a nurse and Jake is one of the students at the school that you work at and has come to see you complaining of hair loss and depression. He's 18 and we have all his case history here. And in the original, you have to write a letter to the university nurse. So the nurse at the university Jake is going to be going to after finishing boarding school. I've changed this slightly 
so that Jake is now 17. He's no longer 18. He's a year younger. And rather than writing to the university, you are going to be writing to a social worker. So you're still you, you're still the nurse at the boarding school, but now the new plan is that the student is concerned about starting the new term and studying for final exams. So in the UK, the new term starts in September. You have to write a letter to the social worker to organise counselling and support. An alcohol support group, that's interesting. Liaise with his parents and monitor progress. So you're writing to the social worker here. So let's break this down in far more detail. First of all, again, look at who you are. You're the nurse at the boarding school. Jake Peterson is a male student in your school and has come to see you complaining of hair loss and depression associated with that. Okay. The student is concerned about starting a new school term and you have to write a letter to the social worker. Why do you have to do that? You're organising, you're going to ask them to organise counselling, to liaise and to monitor. What are the two things that you've been asked to do here? You have been asked to briefly outline his history, briefly, and express your concerns. So in effect, there are three things you're going to have to do. Outline his history, express your concerns, and then make these requests. Because you're referring to a social worker, there is obviously a safeguarding issue at stake here. Here is a website all about it. I put the URL in again in the comments box and in the info box below and you can check that out later on. Okay, back to what we're doing. As we said, there are three things to do. The history, your concerns and then the requests. So I would break it down like this. We've got his history here. He's 17. He's been at this boarding school for the past eight years. His parents live and work abroad. Aha, remember that's connected with number three, the request. You are asking the social worker to liaise with his parents who live abroad. Okay, so that's something that you need to mention. So I put number three there, so I will remember. Okay, his father has had boldness in the past. His mother's had depression. He's a non-smoker, but he drinks alcohol 20 units a week. So this, of course, is connected with your concerns. He's a minor. He's only 17. In the UK, the legal age to be allowed to drink is 18. So this is obviously why a social worker has also been involved. He's a karate black belt and a champion swimmer. So he's obviously very sporty. More about his history here. He's had alopecia from 13. He possibly had depression. He presented with hair loss. He was referred to the specialist. There's no etiology established. It's probably stress. He was prescribed steroids. He discontinued it due to changes in his personality. Then it got better. The anxiety returns and the hair loss returns. He's tried homeopathic remedies, no results, and now this is where we are. So this is his history. In terms of your concerns, he's 17, he's drinking alcohol, he suffered from depression, he experienced bullying, even though he said it wasn't anything serious. What else? He's lost weight, so he's lost six kilograms over the past two months. That was back in 2018, so just last year. He's had problems forming and maintaining peer relationships, and this has affected his sports. Okay, we can see he's a very strong athlete here, so there's something going on. Another concern, he was referred to the counsellor for the anxiety, but he didn't attend the most recent checkup shows that his alcohol has increased. Again, this should be flagged up because he's only 17. He 
has arranged to have a separate room for exams, but there is obviously some kind of ongoing support needed from the social worker. Okay, so let's go back to the original letter. Remember, this was to a nurse. We now have to adapt this. We have to change it completely, actually, to a social worker. So I'm writing to introduce Jake, okay. He presented when he was 13. He was referred to a trichologist specialist. He was prescribed steroid. So you can see here, there is rather a lot of information about his medical history. Why? Because originally you were writing to the nurse. You've got to think how much do you need to keep or just eliminate if you're writing to the social worker? What will she need to know when she's caring for Jake? She actually won't need to know all of this. She'll just need to know a summary. There are other things which are more important to her in her care of Jake. So let's have a look at a better sample connected to a social worker. As you can see, there are four body paragraphs. Let's look at this first one. I'm writing to introduce Mr. Jake Patterson, a 17 year old student at this school who is studying for his final exams. Jake presents with hair loss, associated depression, anxiety and an increase in alcohol consumption and would benefit from your support. So in this opening, we have an introduction to the patient, his presenting issues, nothing judgmental. So we're not judging him that he's had alcohol and this has been increasing. We're just making that request straight away for support. Can you read through the rest of this and decide how has it been organised? I'll give you some time to do that now. Okay, so let's take a look together then. We'll look at the second paragraph now. Jake presented today, so I have the timeline today, with concerns about his exams and his coping mechanisms. This is the way he's been dealing with his problems. So he's got problems and he's worried about his problems and the way he copes with them. In an appointment in February, okay, he explained that he had been having difficulty managing social relationships and this affected his extracurricular sporting activities. He had previously experienced weight loss, six kilograms over two months at the end of last year. And Jake also informed me that he has increased his alcohol consumption to 28 units a week since May of this year. So I have an idea of what happened and when all the presenting concerns have been given to Mrs. Cullen. Jake visited a specialist in regards to his hair loss. So we haven't gone into detail. We've just said that he went to the specialist. He later started taking homeopathic remedies, but his hair loss has returned. Very simple, much more summarised than before. He was referred to a counsellor in March, but failed to attend the appointment. Okay, so this is all about the previous treatment and help he's experienced. Given that Jake is a minor, he's only 17, and his parents live abroad, remember? That was really important for the liaising part. I would be grateful if you could offer him guidance and support, liaise with his parents and encourage him to attend an alcohol support group, counselling should you feel this is necessary. 
So this is the request, this backs this up. And then of course we have the typical ending, please feel free to contact me should you have any further questions. So we can see we've got a nice summary of what's happened. We have his history and your concerns and the request. So one, two and three has all been given. This is exactly 200 words, I checked. Um, and it's all been presented very clearly for the benefit of the social worker, not the nurse. So see if you can do this. Go back and look at the samples yourself. Try and write your own letter. Try and use some of the other samples and see if you can adapt them. How would things change if you were writing to a social worker? What information would you keep? What information would you eliminate? What would you add if you were changing the samples to a social worker? I think that would be a really useful exercise for you. If you want more detailed information about writing, reading or speaking, why not take a look at my on-demand pre-recorded courses? They're on Udemy and you can take a look at them and see if they work for you. I've put in some discount codes and if you like this, it'd be so nice if you could help me grow this channel by sharing it with friends or colleagues. And finally, if you'd like to sign up for a free newsletter for a regular dose of all things OET, then I'll put the link in below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon with one of our other videos. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.